Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. This is morning of day 81 and I am at Hughes. Uh, if we have a quick look at the map, I made a pretty good uh, run through the, the uh, uh, desert here. Uh, managed to find a road, made it back to the main road, and then took us right to Hughes, which is great. So, um, we're going to go hit up Sarah's treasure map on the way home, put a quick waypoint there. And then we might hit down and get Jennifer's. I'm not 100% sure yet. I think this is mountainous here, so we might not be able to get in there really easily. So we're going to hit her treasure map on the way home. I'm probably going to go cross country, just head directly there. Uh, it's probably a little quicker than going the roundabout road. Plus, I don't have a lot of gas. So we'll probably have to hit up a car on the way out of town here. Uh, let's just go look over here real quick, see if we can get some gas. I'm at 45%. I burned the rest of my fuel last night when I left uh, Rex. He... I had like 10% gas left, something like that, so it wasn't too bad. Um, and it filled it up, my filled my tank up to, I don't know what it was, 40% or so, or not 40, sorry, 75% or 80% when I, when I filled it up. Now I've grabbed those cans. Ah, uh, you know what? Oh, car right here, never mind. Take it back. So I was able to get a little bit more plastic at Rex too, or at Hughes, I mean. Um, he had another 50 some odd... Uh, bits of plastic. Oh, that's nice. So I was able to grab the plastic from him. Alright, a little bit of plastic off that too, which is nice. Alright, um... Oh, 900. You know what? Let's take the main road. Let's be safe. It might be quicker overall too. Well... Where's that treasure map? It doesn't look too bad. It's not anywhere near the desert was coming back from Rex to this side of the map. Holy crap. It was like I went into a I went into a hole too in the motorbike. I thought I could make a jump and I just went into this hole and I had to like pick it up and get it out of there. It was so bad. Yeah. But uh, it's like like this bit right here all the way. You know, and then it was mountainous too. It wasn't like it, there's any areas like this where I could just Kind of pick up a flat zone and drive. Nothing. Oh, well, I guess the one good thing about the drive back is that I only encountered one bird and no zombies. So I'm not sure why that was. I guess maybe they just didn't have enough time to spawn in because I was driving through it so quickly or what it was. But uh, yeah, no zombies at all. Um... And just that one bird tailgating me. There we go. I guess I should park on the road up here. Not sure where that goes. Is that actually... We've been down here before? Oh, it hooks up down here. Alright, cool. Let's dig this out real quick. Alright, there we are. That took actually a fair bit of time to find. Alright, let's hope we can... P oh, I don't have any lockpicks. Oh, yes I do. Never mind. Alright, well I only broke one lockpick. Uh, sure. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, how did I get in? Right this way. Did I? I think I did. There we go. Now, let's go see if we can get that other one. Um, yeah, we might have time. Let's just follow the road down, and then uh, we'll head over there. If it is over a mountain, then we'll forget it, but if it's not, we'll go pick it up. I don't know. It's going to be iffy. I thought this would flatten out in here, but it certainly has not. Uh, well, we're almost here. We're not going to turn around now, but still. Whoops. That's a little bit of a fall. Let's hope it's in the uh, desert. It's so much easier to grab stuff in the desert. Yep, perfect. Plus it's brighter. So I've been giving a lot of thought about what I want to do with the farm. we got to move it out of where it is now. I know I've been saying that like over and over and over again, but it really has to go. Um... Because if they break through, that's basically where they're going to be landing. And i got to fill that with spikes. So, 
Uh, what I'll probably do is I'm going to move it over to the park across the street. I wanted to keep it in the trader, but that's not going to happen. We're going to have to get it out of there. Uh, get it in the park across the street there uh, where we were doing the... Um, what's it called? Um, the, oh, the chicken coops. We'll put it in that park and then um, we'll... Uh, I mean, we'll make it look nice, make it easily accessible. Because I think the zombies don't, like, they won't spawn in there during Horde. So it should be immune to uh, um, taking damage from the zombies, like, straight up. Look at this. Wait, where the hell is it? Oh, it's outside the marker. Of course it is. Alright, let's get this one open. Alright, that one took one pick, too. Wow, that's terrible. Whatever. At least we got some shiz. Alright, um... Yeah, so as I was saying, you know, it's out of the reach of the guards. So the guards can't actually shoot the, shoot the, uh, the farm if it's in that, in that park. Which is good. And, um, I think it's outside of the spawn radius of the Horde Knight zombies. Which is, or, yeah, which is good, so they won't be wrecking it at all. Um, and then we can make it look nice. The only thing we have to worry about is, like, a wandering horde or something destroying it. But I don't think they will. You know? There's no reason to destroy it. As long as it's not blocking their path, if they can run straight through it, um, which is what I'm, how I'm planning on making it, then it'll be fine. They can just run straight through it and they, they won't wreck anything. But I want to expand it, make it a little bit bigger. Seriously? First thing we do when we get back is we're going to go to Caitlyn. Because I'm interested to see if... Because we're on tier 4 quests, if she gives us the opening trade routes level 4, which would be nice, because then um, that means we're pretty darn close to being able to uh, get the special quest from Caitlyn, which is to discover that first um, bunker. Uh, which, because of our game stage and where we're at now, is going to be a fucking nightmare. So I'm going in there loaded with, like, loaded down on my whole fucking hotbar is going to be weapons. It's going to have to be. My inventory is just going to be ammo. Ah, so we're going to go in there um, and hopefully we can find, if we haven't found a laser multi-tool by then, hopefully we can get a laser multi-tool because I think there's laser workbenches in there and they might have a multi-tool in them. Plus there's a bunch of lockers and things like that. Hopefully they've got something for us. Alright, that's that done. Let's go talk to her. Good morning to my favorite customer. Am I? Am I really? I like to think that I am. I don't know if I really am though. All right. Do you have any other work? No. Okay, that's interesting. Um. Let's see your inventory. Let's just go ahead and sell all this stuff. And that. You. We don't need that guy. Uh, we want to hang on to that. I think that's all I got to sell her. Get a whole lot of the rocket launcher. I might, I don't know, I might get some use out of it during Horde. We'll see. I'm anxious to get in and get this done, though. Get the research notes done. Okay, so, uh, you restocked. Get a bit of lag here. All right. Um, no multi-tool. I'm not expecting to see it. It'd be nice if it was there, but I'm not expecting to see it. Wow, lag. Holy crap. Is there a wandering horde spawning? It's a possibility. 34 polymers, we'll buy those. Um, nothing really else. Weapon stuff. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could take these. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to go ahead take care of you. and use and this. Tell your friends. Because um, what I want to do, first of all, get those. Now you've got, do you have more? I think I really want there. Um, what was that I was looking at I wanted? Come on, man. What is it? Think about it. What did you want? I know we're going to use those, so I'm just going to buy them now. Uh... There was something else. I was looking right at it, and then you're like, "Yeah, I should get that." Was it in here? Oh, yeah, uh, rocket frags. 
and then let's go ahead oops let's go ahead and get these guys I'm gonna use them on horde and 762 I think that's it we're gonna not, not gonna spend any more okay I hope you come back and see me sometime uh, you know I will I live here what the hell um, you got any jobs Buried supplies. Let's do the buried You're supplies. Always looking for some. This is dangerous work. Is it? I believe you can handle it. And we'll go up and talk to the other guy, and see if he's got a buried supplies too. Oh fuck off. Lag. All right, just drop this stuff off real quick. All right, you got a buried supplies. Got any jobs? Fetch to the north. Too far. Tier 3 fetch, that's not going to count. Ah, that's fine, we'll go do the buried supply. She's got two, so... We'll do one... Oh, fuck, that was a cop. We'll do one... And then we'll come back and hopefully be able to take her second one. You know, on any other earlier day... If a cop blew up outside of my base, the first thing I would do is be out there going, what the hell damage did he do? But my wall is like, like two to three blocks thick concrete. So even if he took out a block on the wall, he's like, they're not breaking through. I'm not worried about it right now. I'll worry about it when I'm fixing the base, which will be probably tomorrow. Um, I really hope I can get this, these tier four quests out of the way with. Well, it's almost in the next town. Alright, fair enough. That's uh, on a hill, of course, because where else would it be? Wow, the, the... Man, the jaggedness of this map is just ridiculous. Alright, park right there. Crap. So damn big. Alright, we'll find this damn thing and get out of here. Alright, well that took a little while to find. Ah, oh, it's fine though. Yeah. Not sticking around. See you guys later. See you later, ma'am. And let's get back to the trader. We still got some time. Hopefully, oh, did I hit the dog? Uh, hopefully, um, we got enough time to do one, one more. She had one more buried supplies, and I can't remember. I think it was tier four, but I don't remember off the top of my head if it was. And if it is tier four, we can get that one done. And I don't know what that, how that, where that puts us. There should be a. There should be a little counter that tells you how in favor uh, she is with you. So, like, you know, if you do a fetch clear, you get, like, three points. If you do a clear, you get two points. And if you do a fetch, you get one point. And if you do a varied supplies, you get one point or something like that. Look at this. Insane. You know, it just kind of gives you a, a ranking. So at least you have an idea of how close you are to the... Uh, to completing the um, the next level. Excuse me. I can leave the bike here though. Okay. How do we do? You are quite the daring adventurer. I am. Good job. How much is that worth? Two seventy six. Could yeah. 179, let's take that. Um, got any jobs? There was one more, wasn't there? Buried supplies? Northwest? I think I've got a job. Hurry back soon. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back. Nice I'll close that door. You didn't think I forgot about you, did you? So there's gotta be, there's another buried treasure out here too. What time of day is it? Ah, midday. Maybe we go get the buried treasure as well. I know it's it's ah, it's boring work, but it's got to be done. And then tomorrow, like all the steel should be done, produced. Like it should be sitting there waiting for us right now, right? So we can get um, the base updated and ready to go uh, tomorrow. We'll start working on getting that second blockhouse ready. I was thinking about knocking out. Like how we're gonna do it? I think we gotta. I think we're gonna knock out some of the blocks at my feet, kind of pointing down, and turn them into like grenade drop zones where I can just drop some grenades down there. 
Just because if, like, on that second block, because if the zombies decide that they want to, um, um, pile up below me while I'm in there, the best way to, 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 to disperse them is to, uh, wreck them with some, um, grenades. Just to throw off their, uh, their, um, I don't want to say targeting, but their, uh, their sense, their sensing of me. Alright, settle in for a... Another fucking half an hour of trying to find a buried treasure. So there was... You know, and this is a really ingenious idea. I never really thought of it, but... You can actually use dynamite or... Or rockets to blow up the ground, I guess. Around to make it quicker to find treasures. So the fun pimps are actually removing that as a viable option now. They haven't said how they're doing it, but... I bet you the... Oh, there it is. I bet you they set it up so that it, uh... Destroys the ground. Ooh, hey, that guy's fast. Well, I'll see y'all later. I don't want to hang out here. Ah, oh, man, they made my butt my butt pucker there for a second. Thought they were gonna catch a piece of me. There's nothing worse than like being on a bike, not being able to fight back. But then you know they're hitting you, and then they start they start uh, you know breaking arms or legs or infecting you, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. That's like the worst feeling for me. There's a bee. What's up, buddy? Okay, I don't think this will get us our final level, but at least we got two more jobs done today. Kind of make up for that one we failed yesterday. Although, I don't really consider that a... Well, I guess it is technically a failure. Throwing your gun away and then um, getting eaten alive by one of those big... Uh, well, well, we didn't get killed, but... One of those big demons doing a lot of damage to you. I mean, it was pretty close, I gotta say. I don't think there's... banana juice. I gotta start harvesting these again, because... I needed to make juice with, and we burned through it pretty quickly. We'll finish her off. Oh, they got that guy. Nice. All right. I guess the best way to do these doors is to have to have one in and one out, so you only have one set of sensors on a on a door. But whatever. Another wonderful morning in the apocalypse. Is it really? How can I help you? Quite the Not that adventure. wonderful. Ooh, we'll take uh, that guy because we can use it to repair mine with, or just keep it as a backup. Impact bracing mod. Let's take that. All right. Nothing else that's any good. Never mind. Uh, okay, I see your inventory. I don't think there's anything we want to sell. Not doing too bad money-wise. We spent a lot in the past couple of days, but we're okay. And this really knocks the price of stuff down, so it's it's fine. You don't have any more blue pages, do you? I bought all your blue pages, right? Yeah. Just because I can, I'll buy that. I just knew you'd find something you'd like. Yeah, well, you know me. All right, let's harvest this, these crops here real quick. All right, that gets that all done. We cleared all, all the seeds too. So all we have to do now is just break out these guys. Fill this in. I'm gonna fill it in with rebar. Oh, the water level drops when you do that. Apparently I can't uh, hit that one. Really? Let's just see if I can hit it now. Really? How? I don't even... How does that even work? Is it nuts? I don't know. Whatever, we'll cover it up with rebar. But all this has got to get replaced here. All this down under here and underneath the walls. Um, we got to get all that done. 
before the next horde because if they break through there and then into there because this isn't fully updated yet right then we're going to be back in the blockhouse and that's got to be reinforced because we'll be fighting there like as a last ditch effort hopefully at that point in time is late enough at night time that they don't have to worry about it oh we got to run all the wiring too shoot um yeah definitely tomorrow then we're going to be spending time here getting a lot done we'll work on it now too so let's just drop off you guys whatever we got extra here here including the seeds um and here get that thrown away okay let's bring some wood out bring our concrete rebar um we should have a ton of steel now let's drop those guys away for now i should have sold that we can scrap this and then in here coins that that oh actually you know what? before we do anything let's go ahead and bring these guys down find out what we need for the future is now we need paper ink and uh ink quill 10 okay cool pretty simple those guys go in there we got the paper, we got the quills, and we can make ink with those. Is it two for one ink? Let's go make some more. We need water too, right? Uh, we can do it in here. So, uh, wood. We're going to need a couple. So, ink is... Oh, right, we need um, eggs and, yeah, that. oh, I should have bought those eggs. Oh, well. So ink we can do two, and then dye, black, we can make two of those. Might as well, and we'll, you know what, we'll make ink with it too, so let's get that book going got everything right future is now beautiful ah man yeah it's awesome okay fix that so that's going to open up lasers and hopefully it opens up the ability to make a multi-tool i know you need a multi-tool to be able to make one though uh it's kind of the shitty part about it but it is what it is i understand needing to gate that though um so you got to find the item first. These guys away. Excellent. Um, so you are done. And I think I got to read it from down here. Not 100% sure, but let's do that just in case. Oops, skills. We got two skill points available. Okay, so uh, technology. So this is open now. So technology crafting. Laser multi-tool, energy cell, and enriched uranium. Laser workbench and laser bladed sword unlocks laser battery recipe, power hammer and power axe recipes. And I'm not going to spend... This gives us the multi-tool, but I, I don't, I'm pretty sure it's gated. You need a multi-tool to be able to make one. Um, yeah, laser multi-tool required. So we have everything we need to make one. We can make the energy cells. That's easy enough. Um, yeah. So let's put one point then. Um, here. And then we'll take our other point and go to another one from the shadows. Oh, it costs two points for that. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So we didn't need any of these, um, these guys. So we can do a mastery book then at some point. All right, cool. Uh, let's get stuff going here. We should have plenty of steel now. I think I didn't buy any. 
Okay, grab that. Um, we have anything in here right now? We don't. Okay, so let's bring our, down our frames. Uh, first things first, though. Yeah, let's do all the digging first, I think. Because that's most likely going to attract any zombies that are around. The power, less of a chance to do so. So let's start by taking this up. Alright, so this is... Asphalt. Okay. Fine. I should probably put that to steel. Shh. I'm not trying to attract zombies. Stay quiet. Um, yeah, we should probably put that to steel, I think. Uh, I don't know. Okay, it needs to be out at least to here, I think. Something like that. Uh, maybe to... To that, probably. Probably. Then we can't actually... Fill those in. It sucks that I can't. You know what we might be able to do though? That. Oh, and it, and it vanishes. And then we can do. Um, we have enough for dirt. You can make one dirt, huh? You got two dirt to make one. This should give us some though, I think, doesn't it? Nope, apparently it doesn't. Because why would it? Alright, let's go ahead and drop that in there. And then we'll just... Sure. I know this is down one level, but that's fine. <sighs> yeah, the nightmare of like them blowing through the ground and then tunneling under everything is like the worst thing. Alright, let me dig all these up and then um, we'll lay in the uh, rebar. Alright, so that's got this side under the wall all the way along done. Get this laid in. Now, if I got time, I'll upgrade some of these blocks under here to steel. If they dry in time, that is. But we're going to get all this done, too, along here. I'm kind of glad underneath the wall is uh, asphalt, because at least it's got 1,500 hit points. I mean, it's not perfect, but um, at least it's got some sort of sturdiness to it, you know? If it was just sand, like, can you imagine? Like, it just blows, pull the block, block above, and then it's gone. I really hope that once this is done, if they do manage to break through those first two areas, the problem is, is the tall zombies aren't going to get to me, right? They're not going to be able to get through those two block high things unless the unless a behemoth or something knocks them out. Uh, man, do I upgrade this to steel? Mm, I don't think I have to. I think it's fine like that. All right, let's just go ahead and fill this in here. Um, so yeah, I think it's... Um, was I saying, oh yeah, so if they don't, if they, my biggest fear is that they decide that the walkway is not a viable way to get to me anymore, and they start hammering uh, the walls to try and get up to me, and if they do that, they're just going to bring the walls down. There won't be anything, damn thing I can do to stop them, like, no, matter, no amount of grenades, it just won't matter. Since most of the, like, the problem with, like, grenades are okay. If you can get a kill on the zombies at the beginning. But, um, like, thankfully we haven't really encountered any demons on uh, Horde Night. But when the demons do start coming, then, um... And, well, I know the radiators anyway, but the demons will just regenerate their hit points, right? If we can get photon grenades at some point, that might work. But right now, we're kind of stuck with what we have. 
And if we don't get a multi-tool, man, we're in a lot of trouble. I should check to see. Um, I'm pretty sure I need a laser to make a multi-tool. Or, uh, sorry, a multi-tool to make a, a laser. Uh, I don't think this is... We have to worry, I don't think we have to worry about this as much. Yeah, we can go to here, I think. Um, yeah, so I don't think we need a... I mean, I think we need a multi-tool to make a laser, but if we don't... It'd be great to be able to make a laser relatively early on. Um, I mean, we've got time before we get to be able to make one, I think. Like, laser is... That's bio boost perk. So laser pistol is there. At level 175. And what are we now? 116. So we got a ways to go. It's weird because I feel like we're kind of in later stages of the game already, but we're really not really at the end game point yet, I guess. I mean, I guess we kind of are, but we're kind of not. Alright, that gets that section done. Let's just grab this, I guess. I mean, I should probably do, like, in front of the door, like, driving in as well. Like, all of this. Ah, it's gonna fall. Yep. Not much I can do about it. Wow, it's wood, eh? It's like picking me up here and it's kind of going like up and down, up and down, up and down. Alright, that should probably be enough. Eventually this will all be steel. And I don't think we'll ever get a, a point where it's all going to be reinforced steel, but... At least if it's got like 7,500 hit points or whatever steel is. I think it's 7,500. Um, you know, a demo or two going off down here won't be a disaster. Okay, that's pretty good. Now this is almost done here. Can I get between these two? Can. Beautiful. Get some of these updated. Now I think this wall... See, I'm thinking about... Ah, oh, man, maybe we need to knock these out again and make this a solid block. Or we go out from the... I mean, we could always go out. Wow, they were like... Was that from guard shooting, maybe? I don't know. So, yeah, maybe we don't go... Maybe we go out the back way one more block, just to make this a little more solid. I think that's probably the way to go. Let's actually get up on top here. Before we go today. Um, it's a, yeah, it's a tricky, like, if they come in that door and don't see this immediately as the way to get up to me, and come along here and get punted, or just like keep going. Let me get that fixed. Thought I had it done, but I didn't. Right? So if they don't see it coming in this way and, and then coming this way to get to me as a viable route, then they're all they're gonna do is congregate down here. So I'm almost thinking that maybe we need to add like another set of stairs with a drawbridge that we can just drop that will make them come this way. And then use this as the secondary like, if they come that way, great. Right? If they don't come that way, then it's not a big deal because we just drop a drawbridge here. And they can come this way. But the problem is that the drawbridge is too damn big. I mean, I guess the other way to do it is to have a set of stairs that come up, but then just stop. And then... I can always add three concrete blocks. I, I can put three rebar... No, because I'm not allowed to build during Horde either. I was going to say I could add three blocks and then just upgrade them and then run into the uh, base. So we're not... Yeah, it's going to be tricky. Well, I guess the only one way to... Because here's the thing is I was thinking about putting like... Like if we take this block out, right? And then we do shape. We go with this guy. And then we do... Um, Advanced. 
like that. And then... So attached to this... Wait, am I thinking correctly here? Because I would be standing... Are they still coming? Banging on the wall. So... Yeah, it's not going to work either. Because if I was on this level, let's say... This would have to be the wall, but the wall would have to be... Like, a plate instead. Like that, right? Because then I can see down and I can just like throw a grenade and that like, it would go down. The problem with that is then there had to be a solid block here and here. Then we can put a plate on that side. So that's double plated. We just wouldn't have one here. Right, so there'd be two slots there and there that we could drop stuff down. We wouldn't be able to do one on this side, unfortunately. But at least we would be able to, like, kind of half look down and take a shot if we needed to. But the thing is, like, they're underneath, like, underneath us here, right? So maybe it's not this one. Maybe it's... Um... This guy. Oh, fuck off. Like that. Right? And then... That just leaves way too much room to get shot from down below. You know what I mean? Like, they'd just be able to shoot us. Well, you know, unless we did... Like, if we put plates on the outside, let's say... Then they wouldn't... I mean, we'd just be the guys directly below us that would see us. That feels a little better. So let me, um... Let me work on this tonight. Uh, we got other stuff to do though. Um, this evening, maybe we do that tomorrow. I gotta take out these two blocks then, and maybe we make this one like angled like this, and we take this out, and make all this enclosed inside the blockhouse. Okay, so I can add these here now. But you can see what I mean about. This just feeling cr cramped, right? We're, we're only going to have two blocks here. It's got to go out one more this way. We've got to knock all this out. and have it go out one more. Or... We can just put angle blocks here. And have it go out one more. So that way we're... One, two, three. Because the wall's going to be here. That's the hatch. Right? And if we got to behemoth reaching in for us, we've got to be able to stand back and shoot him, right? I don't know, man. This is such a... I wonder if we need to, um... make this... Like we make this one wider on this side and then have the angle blocks here. I think that's what has to be done. I think this needs to be one block wider. I mean, this is really just a fallback point, but still it, it should be like... If I need to defend the horde from, like the whole horde, I should be able to defend the whole... Like defend from the whole horde in this location. You know, barring something crazy like multiple behemoths at once. 
which is a possibility later on down the road. But yeah, these all have to come out now. We gotta build this up one more. Because then I can put the angle blocks like right there. And then that would save me the extra, an extra, like an extra space up there at the back. We still put the the angle blocks, so we add an extra block on the outside wall. And I gotta take that hatch out too. All right, well I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. I'm not gonna do any smashing tonight. Figure out that tomorrow. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time. We'll see you later.